So today I was just on Wololo. I think that's how I pronounce it. If you don't know what this website is, it's one of the best websites for emulation, homebrew hacking, all types of consoles like PSP, PS Vita, PS4, PlayStation Classic. You guys get the idea. Um, a Nintendo Switch as well. And um, I noticed this article. So I normally don't make videos on these sort of things. I normally only make videos on tutorials. But um, this is actually kind of interesting. So basically what this is, and this article is basically about emulation on the PS Vita. So if you just read it, a look at the last sliver of hope for the Nintendo 64, high resolution PlayStation 1 and emulator shaders on the PS Vita. So this driver is called the GXM driver and what this is is a GPU acceleration driver. So there's a bounty that's gaining traction with over $500 raise and somebody called Fangar is working on it. So yeah, basically what this driver is, it's a driver that's going to work with RetroArch, maybe other emulators as well and it will just improve the performance of them so you can probably play different games and um, you can play them in higher speeds so that basically there's going to be high resolution PlayStation 1 games and Nintendo 64 games as you guys know you can play Nintendo 64 games on the PS Vita but it's really laggy so a driver like this would be perfect to actually get them working so it said without a doubt releases in the PS Vita homebrew hacking scene have slowed down that's true I haven't really been able to make many PS Vita videos just because there isn't really any new content coming out um, so you might have noticed a bit of a slowdown on them on my channel. Um but yeah, the um, Trinity exploit, that was probably one of the last biggest releases. And it says, however, there's still a final sliver of hope for the Nintendo 64 emulation, which has been requested since native PS Vita hacks became a thing with Hankaku. So yeah, Nintendo 64, loads of people want to be able to play this on the PS Vita, um, you know, smoothly, around about 30 FPS. I think currently you can get it about 20 something and it just gets horrible audio glitches and stuff like that. So it says two weeks ago, um, KWYXZ opened a feature request issue on RetroArch's GitHub. So we can actually take a look at this. I think it's this one right here. So um, if we scroll up, you can read about it here, um, somewhere here. As of today, RetroArch on the PS Vita is using software rendering. This is preventing cores from using the full potential of the device in terms of, of course, 3D emulation, but hardware acceleration could also do wonders for the 2D display. So that is the new GMX driver. Well, I don't know when they're actually going to get this working or when this is actually going to come out. Of course, I'm going to make a video on it as soon as it drops. It says 15 days ago on here. I think this was reported yeah it was reported pretty much today yesterday and um yeah it's looking pretty interesting so far so there's just some more information about it right here. The GXM driver would allow GPU acceleration on RetroArch cores running on hacked PlayStation Vita and PSTV devices. Through GPU acceleration, cores such as PCSX, which is a PlayStation emulator, um, Re-Armored, I'm not sure that is, might be Nintendo 64, Move Pen 64, that's definitely N64, um, can provide better 3D performance and cores for the system with predominantly 2D games can get enhancements such as shaders. So I guess this is going to work on a lot of different emulators as well. 2D games, they're basically SNES games, Game Boy Advance games. So yeah, there's more information about it here. It allows a smoother UI, shader support. You guys can read everything if you want. They also talk about the Melon DS emulator. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in PS Vita emulation, definitely read this. I'm probably going to miss some bits out, but um, it's very interesting. So we're looking at improved PlayStation 1 games, um, Nintendo 64 and DS games. As you know, DS games do kind of work, but they run at like 5 FPS or something like that. I, it did say something about here at DS games. Um, so if we scroll on here, you can see there you go, it's working on SNES and Game Boy Advance as well. Better PS1 emulation. Um, actually, Adrenaline isn't too bad for PS1 games to be fair, but it would be nice if they were a lot better. Improved SNES, potential Nintendo 64, um, maybe the ability to play some less demanding Nintendo DS games at 20 to 30 FPS via the Melon DS. That would be really cool because currently all the Nintendo DS games on the PS Vita are just unplayable. Perhaps better performance in Sega Saturn emulation. Have I made a video on that? I don't even know if that's a thing. There you go, there's a conclusion, and um, there's some information about it here, actually. Is that what I covered? Or is this like a download link to it or something? I think this is probably what I already covered. So there is more information about it here. Um, at the time of recording this, this website just won't load to me, so Bounty Source is not loading. I don't know why. But um, yeah, let me know what you think. Um, it's going to be pretty interesting. Um, 
when um when this releases or if this driver comes out or if there's any news about it i will definitely make an updated video because i know ps vita is very popular subject on my channel and there you go so that is pretty much it for this video if you guys enjoyed oh it looks like the website just loaded Okay, so it can actually be found. Oh, the code of it can be found. I see. Okay, I'll leave a link to this in the description. As you can see, there's no releases yet. But that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.